Shalom. Uh, I hope this works. Um, this is a little bit different um, camera than I normally use. Different computer, different camera. Um, hopefully this records somewhat well. Um, basically what I want to do is debunk uh, this myth that the Arabic term Allah, as they say, is an, is an evil term referring to a moon god or a demon or, or you know, a false god or a curse or whatever. With this, I want to look at three different languages. Three different languages which are extremely similarly related. Um, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic. Okay? Now, Hebrew and Aramaic are almost identical languages when you look at the grand scope of all the words. The alphabet in Hebrew and Aramaic is the exact same. Now, Arabic is a little bit further off than Hebrew, um, but yet it's very similar language. When you pronounce all the letters in Hebrew correctly, it is it sounds like Arabic. Most people, when you pronounce Hebrew correctly, most people say that sounds like Arabic, but actually Arabic sounds like Hebrew when Hebrew is correctly pronounced, when all the letters are correctly pronounced, um, which is not really the case in modern dialects of Hebrew, most modern dialects of Hebrew, except for Yemenite, perhaps. Um, now, so we have this, we have a root word, and that is Aleph, Lamed, He. Aleph, Lamed, He. It means God or, or supreme being or supreme entity, supreme one, um, high, mighty. You know, we use the term God. Some people don't like the term God, which is completely understandable because in Hebrew, God means fortune. And it was the name of a pagan deity worshipped, I think, by the Babylonians or something. Okay, you know, that's fine. But when I'm using the term God here, I'm just using it for familiarity's sake. So basically... This three-letter root word in Hebrew, Aleph, Lamed, He, means God. Now, in Hebrew it has a different, you know, slightly different pronunciation, but the same root word in Aramaic means the same thing. Aleph, Lamed, He in Aramaic as opposed to Hebrew still means God. In Arabic, Aleph, Lamed, He, it means the same thing as it does in Aramaic and Hebrew. In Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic, Aleph, Lamed, He means God. Okay, all three languages. <clears throat> so there's, okay, in Hebrew, and they have slightly different pronunciations, but the, the root word, the consonants, are the exact same. Aleph, Lamed, He. Now, Looking, um, there's a portion in actually the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh. There's portions which are written in Aramaic, um, Daniel, Ezra, so on and so forth. Now, I want to show you, I, I have this JPS Hebrew English, ah, there we go, Hebrew English Tanakh. And I will read to you from... From Ezra, verse 5, here at the bottom where you see this hay. Verse, or, uh, chapter 5, excuse me. Ezra, chapter 5, this section is written in, in Aramaic. I will read you the phrase at the end of Ezra, chapter 5, verse 1. At the end of verse 1, it says the phrase, God of Israel. Now, this is written in Aramaic, like I said. How does this read in the Hebrew Bible in Aramaic for the phrase, God of Israel? And it reads, Allah Yisrael. Okay? That's an Aleph Lamed He. The same things when Arabs say Allah, they're saying God. That's what it means. It's the exact same. Allah in Aramaic. Allah. And also in Aramaic, another word, way of saying Aleph Lamed He, God, is Allah Ha in Aramaic. That's strikingly similar to Allah in Arabic. No real difference here. There's not really, I mean, it's, again, it's the same word. So here we have this phrase, Allah Yisrael, the, the God of Israel, which is 
it's the exact same thing. The Arab equivalent is like little, very little difference. Vowels are a little bit different. The consonants are the same. What I'm trying to say here is Aleph, Lam, and He means God in the three in three major Semitic languages: Hebrew, Arab, Aramaic, and Arabic. Those three languages are all extremely closely related, and that is why they have sometimes the exact same root words for meanings of words. The root word here, Aleph, Lam, and He, means God. Allah is the Arabs call on, means God, nothing else. Okay. Even Yemenite Jews in the synagogues, there's a tradition, they will read the Torah in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic. And when they read the Torah, when they read the Torah in Arabic, they say Allah. Is there anything wrong with this? No, because it means God. Just as it does in Hebrew and Aramaic. Okay, so with that, I'm going to close. I hope I've made this as clear and straightforward as possible really not that hard it's just people you know it's just kinda like ridiculous lack of knowledge in people's kinda overall ridiculousness to be honest with you it's just uh, there's so many you know opinions and confusions that people spew as if they know everything in the world and here I am I'm not claiming to know everything but I'm simply telling you this is the simple truth to this matter is that Aleph Lamed He means God in Hebrew Aramaic and Arabic. And in Arabic, it's pronounced Allah, that it means God. No different. Thank you. Bye.